Hello friends, control system in the video. In this video, we have the second module. In the second module, we have the main delay time response analysis or time domain analysis. So, we have the module in the system representation in the Laplace formula. In terms of S in the formula, we have the same thing. Time response analysis, time domain analysis, we convert T to the time domain. So, we represent the output in the time domain. We represent the time response analysis. So, we can say like this, time response of the system is the output of the closed loop system as a function of time. We denote C of T. We have Laplace transform signals in the same way. We have a time domain. We have C of T. Frequency domain is C of S. We have a time response. We have a Laplace transform formula. We have a C of S. So, we have a time domain. We have a time domain. We have a time domain. Inverse Laplace transform is the same. So, time response can be obtained by solving the differential equation governing the system. We have to take the equation down. So, I have to take the equation down. The response C of T can be obtained from the transfer function and input of the system. Suppose, we have to take the system down. It is a closed loop system. That is the input of R of S. Output of C of S. And G of S is the gain. And the H of S is the feedback. So, in this case, this is the closed loop transfer function expressed in this formula. We have learned in the first module. So, C of S is the output by input ratio is equal to G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. This is the transfer function expression of a closed loop system. Okay. So, this is the M of S formula represented. We can represent this C of S. R of S. We can represent R of S into M of S. So, this is in terms of S domain. 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 That is equal to inverse Laplace of R of S into M of S. So, C of T is in terms of S domain. தன்னிரிக்கின்ன transfer function இந்தன்ன நம்லந்தியும் C of T calculateயும் okay ஒரு time response analysis இன்னு வரையின்னது நமுக்கு mainly two parts ஆனதில் வேறுந்து so ஆவிரு time response இனே நமுக்கு இது போல representியா நம்மல் first modulele கண்டிருந்து ஒரு suppose ஒரு zero இல்லன்ன 1 இலைக்கில்ல ஒரு transition so output இன்னு வரையின்னு ஒரு sudden ஐட்டில் ஒரு change ஐயிருக்கில்ல ஒரு gradual change ஐயிருக்கிம் part I to divide here that is transient response and steady state response so transient response in the original and then it is the response of the system when the input changes from one state to another state zero in the one in the kill our change in a look in the time in a number transient response in the array and the next state is steady state response it is the response as the time approaches to infinity T the value infinitely with the ball in the ano other in the present state other than a steady state in the bar. 